Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today. And we've got a special guest here. We have Jim and Robin Berzowski. And they're with, uh, they've been traveling the country, or they have a plan, and they've been traveling the country now for the last, how long here? Five weeks, uh, five on, this weeks trip. on this trip. On this trip. But uh, you originally started your, your trip when? This, uh, this trip was the, yeah, the end of February. Okay. And we'll take this trip, and, and we did a similar trip last year, and we've been camping all over. In May, we'll go up to Alaska for around six weeks. Gotcha. And so, so now you're, how long have you had your Sylvan Go? We've had it since uh, fall of 2016. Since fall 2016, wow. So now how many trips have you guys been on? Um, well, we've been twice to Florida. This is our second trip to Florida. We've had all the way down to Key West, went out to Yellowstone. Um, we've been out to uh, the Outer Banks, and then we camped in Brevard, and then we've had it up in northern Wisconsin several times. Gotcha. So, so now you, you're, you're here today to see us? And when's your next actual camping trip? We leave at the end of May to go from Wisconsin with the goal of Alaska. So we'll, wow. we'll camp um, either across, the, we haven't quite mapped it out yet, uh, either through the United States or Canada up to Banff, Lake Louise, Jasper, we'll camp there a little bit and then up to Alaska, camping on the way, camping when we get there, hit the Arctic Circle, you know, go to Fairbanks, Denali, uh, down to... Gina Hot Springs. Gina Hot Springs. We can talk Homer, um, you know, the Kenai Peninsula, uh, and then down through, uh, back through Alaska, down to the state of Washington, where my Stop. siblings and I will... Wrangell St. Elias is one of the places I really want to see. Gotcha. Now, so how long, is this, how long is that whole trip going to take for? That'll be about oh, six, six weeks. weeks. Six weeks? Yeah. Wow. Give or take. I mean, oh. if it's if something catches our fancy, we're retired, so it right. might be a little bit longer. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, so I noticed that you uh, you came up with kind of a unique way of carrying your bikes. How'd you, how'd you come up with that idea? Well, last year we had, like, we packed that camper up with our gear and our friend's gear, and we couldn't get everything inside the trailer. Um, so we strapped two bikes on the outside, and I always thought you could kind of do it, and then since then, we have like to trailer it with it on the downside, so I just figured out how to pad it appropriately and clamp it onto the sides, and uh, it seems to be working so far. I mean, we've been pulling that thing around for about five weeks now with so, the bikes in that position. Yeah, um, la last year we started with it in transit mode, the mm -hmm. high mode, uh, like that, mm -hmm. and we had our bikes on the inside with our gear. But when we picked up our friends and they had a lot more gear than we did, we put their box on the outside, kept ours on the inside, and filled it up with their gear. So um, so we knew it yeah. could go on the outside, as he said. And, and Jim just really wanted to, we don't have that much gear, so we wanted to travel with it in the low then, mode. What's, yeah, if, if you're not filling it, it's a lot better to, trans, you know, to travel with it down like this, because then everything kind of closes down onto the top of it. Right. And then you just have a, a chain lock on the back. It's all secure. Gotcha. When it's open like that, you know, not that it's a lot, who cares about what you have? I mean, it's kind of just camping gear, but regardless. Right. You know, but when we go to Alaska, this way. We, we probably will get bike racks when we go to Alaska yeah. because otherwise, because with the bike racks, every time you open it, you can keep the bikes on it. Yeah. Whereas right now, the way we have it attached to the sides, we have to take them Always off take them every off. time before we set up the camper. Right. So. It works, um, but I think the bike racks is the best way to go. No doubt. So what's your, what's your favorite type of camping when you're when you're using the go? A favorite place with water. You know, yeah. We like water. We like to bike ride. We like to kayak. We like to hike. So um, so for example, last summer when we went with um, Sylvan Sport had a, a camp dark camp, sky. Yeah, camp dark sky. It was a meeting, a, a meeting of a, of a bunch of goes, like 70 different go owners uh, plus Sylvan Sport um, and like the Pisgah National Forest and DuPont National Forest were just beautiful for hiking. Uh, they do a lot of biking. We didn't bike there. Um, at uh, Yellowstone was incredible for hiking. We didn't bike there, but in, or in Florida we yeah, were down Florida, at, uh, nice. yeah, we were down at Port St. Joe, uh, a state park. And we blew, we have an inflatable kayak, which we store in the front part of the go. 
Uh, so we kayaked there, we bike rode there, he did surf fishing, we walked there. Uh, we were in uh, Ocala National Forest at Alexander so we Springs. There. Yeah, we then kayak there, bike ride there, uh, a lot of nature trails there, not no mountains. Uh, so you know, it's, we we like it all, and so any place where we can be active, yeah, we don't spend a lot of time. Uh, we we like to also you know relax at the campground, have campfires and stuff, but during the day we like to be out, be out and about doing yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. And this thing, we can bring all our equipment with us. So. <coughs> well, that sounds Excuse awesome. Me, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do is, um, why don't we show these these uh, ladies and gentlemen how, how easy it is to set one of these up? Oh, what do you know. think of that? Even even when you're sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you I hope you're feeling better shortly. All right. Let's get down down there. Let's go ahead and do that. Thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. We're going to have Jim and Robin show us how easy it is to put up this Sylvan Go. It's all yours.
So there you have it. As you can see, it does not take very long to do. Very simple and gives you so many different opportunities. This is more of a utility ve uh, vehicle, toy hauler, camper, all wrapped up in one.